Hey guys, Bobo the Vulture here. This is uh, Let's Play Extreme Warfare Revenge. And sort of reading around on facts here and there. It sounds as though uh, the weekly event model is not the greatest thing. Um, seems like it would be, but you don't... The, the whole you get this amount per show thing is a lie from the uh, from the sponsors. So... Let's go to VCW. So sponsors, it's like, yeah. It's not actually uh, a 10,000 pay per show. It's like 10,000 pay per month. So what I am going to do... Like basically, you get a you get a you get a small fraction if you do a weekly model instead of the whole thing once a month. It's not even a fifth either or a, a quarter. It's like fifteen percent or something like that. So yeah, it's it's under it's it's beneath a fifth even. Um, so what I might go ahead and do right now is go into events. and change to a monthly model. Okay, on the first day of next month we will change to a monthly model and hopefully we will be able to financially survive until then. But if we do, with the amount of money that we make, we should be okay. We should. I don't know if we will, but we should. Um, but, uh, let's go ahead and click over to the next day here. Now we want to keep this, uh, feud going, so we are going to start off with an interview segment this time. Um, and this time we'll go with Anthony Bartlett Jr. Got to call out Conrad. And this is to continue their feud. And that'll be done. And I think I'm going to make the. Uh, hmm. Let's see. What else was on my notepad? Felcher versus General and into Connie. They wanted to have a match. Didn't they have a match? Yeah, it's okay. It'll erase the booking. That uh, I want to go into the event history here. Yeah, you guys already had a match. I like the idea of you having more matches. I'm not averse to the idea, but uh, let's let's focus on one angle at a time, guys. How about that? All right. So, so I'm gonna have to book this again. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, interview. Single worker. Anthony Bartlett Jr. He is targeting Conrad to further their feud. All right. Let's see. Felcher is doing a lot of main eventing for us. Um... Who else do we have as a good high flying heel? He's a moderate high flying heel. Fast Eddie's a decent high flyer. Jarrell Clark probably. Yeah, Jarrell Clark's our best high flyer heel. Um, uh, 
let's put Jarrell Clark and Intercomi in a match. How's that? Match one versus one. It's a singles match. It's going to be Jarrell versus Gennarlin. And there's not going to be a title on the line. The winner will be Gennarlin. And he'll do it cleanly. And, you know, I'm not going to have anything happen after the match. It's just a regular match. They just, they just go their separate ways. They just put on a good match, and that's done. Let's finish that segment. So, let's see. Last time it was Conrad won, but then he got a uh, an attack after the match. Let's have... Uh, who could fight Conrad? Do we have any good brawlers aside from Conrad? I mean, Intercomi and Felcher, that's about it. Hmm. Who would be a good match for Bartlett? Who else has a decent technical skill? I mean, Aki Mountain does. Vegeta does, I guess. Let's have Aki Mountain and Anthony Bartlett Jr. hook up. One singles match. It's going to be Bartlett versus Akiman. There's not going to be a title on the line. The result will be um, a victory for Anthony Bartlett Jr. It is a victory for Anthony Bartlett Jr. By cheating. And the aftermath will involve a run in by Conrad. Run an attack on Anthony Bartlett. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a way. I, that you could sort of say here, it's like, no, like, basically the idea is that Anthony Bartlett was going to do something bad, and Conrad came in to make the save, but doesn't really go into that level of detail. Let's continue the feud anyway. There's a match, there's a match. Everywhere a match match. Made in heaven and the match made in hell. So it was a Jeremy V and Jarrell Clark that I had already fight each other.
was it Jeremy V and Marcos? Let's have Jeremy V and Marcos have a match. How's that? Wait, should it be them in that position, though? I'm thinking I'm going to have... Let's see, is Drill Clark already in that match? Yeah, he's already in that match. Need to get Axel Law in a match at some point. Actually, no. Don't have any... Oh, no, Axel Law does still need to debut, so we should probably find a nice opponent for Axel Law. Jeremy B. Jeremy V would be a decent opponent for uh, and then Majik and Marcos could uh, take their deal. There you go. Let's have uh, Axel Law face Jeremy V as our opening match tonight. One versus one, singles, Axel Law, Jeremy V, select title, none. This is a win for Axel Law. Axel Law wins quickly, or I mean cleanly, quickly and clearly. And then he does a beat down because he's so evil. And the purpose is to debut Axel Law. Who is the strange man that's so talented? Axel Law. Wow. Everyone. Keep an eye out for this exciting superstar. And then a match with Majik and Marcos. Wait, which one of them is evil? I think Marcos is the evil one, right? I don't even know. Yeah, Marcos is the evil. So. It's just, uh, I guess it's kind of OCD, and it's just kind of also like to do it so that I keep things sort of straighten my head. I always put the heel first. Um, yeah, there's no title on the line. The result will be a win for Magic. Because otherwise we got... Uh, well, no, let's go back. Let's... Yeah, no, let's make it a win for Magic. We don't want it to be nothing but heel victories. Magic cleanly. And you guys are putting on a good match. How's that? Oh. Nothing. And the purpose was to put on a good match. How about that? Let's finish booking that segment. So now we have all of our segments. Wait, I don't have a match for Conrad. I should put Conrad in a match here. Because again, I need to save every penny I can because it's looking like I will lose money this this uh, this month. I mean, possibly all my money. Any decent heel brawlers? Well, Felcher again, but I don't want to put him up against Felcher every week. I'm 
could put him up against Axel Law, but I just got finished putting Axel Law in a match over here. Let's remove this booking. Sorry, Axel Law, uh, your debut is going to be nothing but to further a feud that you are not involved in. Axel Law versus Conrad. Select title none. Select result. Axel Law. Run in by Anthony Bartlett Jr. Axel Law by interference. And the aftermath will be Conrad gets his revenge. Mm-hmm. And the purpose will be to continue this feud. People are getting tired of seeing these guys back and forth constantly. They'll eventually tell me that, if that's what they really think. So, uh... I guess I should still book, uh... a match for... Marcos and Majik. Select title, none. Select result. Magic. Select aftermath, nothing. And the purpose is good match, guys. GG, everybody. Put on a good match. And we'll finish up there. Let's book an interview with Conrad right here. Select target. It will be, you know who, Anthony Bartlett Jr. I know, you guys already don't care about this feud, but it is a big feud. Do either Magic or Marcos have good interview skills? Hmm. They have fair interview skills. Not like General and Arachimon. Gonna go ahead and have... general and do his thing here. With general and Takami. Who's he wrestling? Hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. He is just hyping up. He's in the hype zone. And we will have Akiman do an interview right here. A little Akiman interview. That's who it's with. And he's not targeting anybody. He's just trying to be friendly. Come and watch him sing and play. And let's see. Who else do we want to give a chance to speak? Could be Jarrell Clark. 
Let's see. Drill Clark. Magic or Marcos. Not Jarrell Clark. I think Magic gets this one. And our worker involved is Magic. He can have anything that he desires. He is on Hive Duty. He's going to get so over from all this. All right, let's go ahead and start the show. Am I sure I wish to start it? Nope. Well, that is exactly average to how all of our shows have gone, so I guess 49% ain't the worst thing. Anthony Bartlett Jr., see, that's a high percentage segment for us. Talking trash about Conrad, hyping that feud. This match will take a minute to load. 41. See, it's a, it's actually not a great quality match. Um, but the crowds are a little bit more happening. Maybe it's because they've been warmed up. Magic already talked to him. Intikami. They love Intikami now. Look at the uh, 60% interview segment. That's good. Mm. Axel Law versus Conrad. It was a decent quality match. The crowd's sort of into it, but not as much as they could be. Akiman hyping things up. See, this was a good match. Jarrell Clark and Intikami. Intikami's just a good wrestler, basically, is what it comes down to. Um, so, yeah, this is... Okay, 56. We're still floating around average here, I feel like. But here comes the big main event. Which turned out to be a good match. Anthony Bartlett Jr. and Akiman. Conrad bloodied boss. Wow. Yeah, see, this is the... Conrad comes running down the aisle with a chair and into the ring. They sort of just jump from, oh, here's the pinfall, and then Conrad immediately appears. Let's see. 52. That's that's our best show yet. We're probably going to be bankrupt, but we'll be bankrupt producing amazing entertainment. See? Bam! Not only did we get that 13th guy back, but he brought two people with him. Let's go to the first one. Conrad, Axel on me don't have much chemistry in the ring. How about put me in a program with a worker like Anthony Bartlett Jr.? I think our styles work really well together. Oh, is that so, Conrad? Gee, I haven't been pushing you guys endlessly throughout the very limited number of matches that uh, are shows that I've done so far. I haven't just been pushing you guys both against each other to the moon. I should be higher up the card. You're involved in the fucking main events half the time. And you get, like, at least a third of the overall airtime of any of these shows, Anthony Bartlett Jr. You need to sit down. Fifteen people? All right. So, that was a show. What's going on in the extreme now? Get rid of that. How much how, how much money do we have now? Oof. We have less than forty grand. I think at the end of the month we may be in the uh, in the turlet. How's the feud going though? The feud's pretty hot. How about giving one more a few victories by cheating? Good versus evil always draws well. And right now they are four to three. So, yeah, what I'll probably want to do here eventually is make Anthony Bartlett Jr. Um, maybe pull ahead a little bit with a few cheap wins, that sort of thing. And then the big kiss-off match, let the good guy win. Uh-oh, another big shake-up in one of these uh, feds. NWAW have risen to cult level. Wow. D'Lo Brown's going to work for him, so is Hoovy. Kid Cash, Harry Smith, my 
John Speedy Nelson, and okay, then Stuart Head. Okay. Well, good for you, NWAW. You guys done all right. What? You're my new boss? Uh, first. Next. Next. Everybody has a Monday TV show now. Matt Laurent has taken over control of VCW. Hello, Boba the Vulture. I'm Ina Boo Boss. I wanted you to know that you have my full support. Okay. Well, at least I can talk to you now. We are currently at backyard level of 54% image. Currently, we are a financially solid company. Is that so? Well, as long as you believe that, I'm happy. Overall, I'd say you're doing an average job. Well, I don't know if I could agree with you, but uh, if you are willing to believe that, I will believe it too. Next day. Nothing happens on a Tuesday. NWA on pay-per-view and Firebird TV. You can check their ratings if you want. Basically, I'm a small enough fish. It doesn't really matter in my world what they're doing up at such great heights. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. We've booked another week. We've done another uh, bit of shows. This will be, uh, <laughs> I guess this will be our last show on the weekly model. And when we come back after this, uh, I'm going to have to remember to switch us over when uh, September rolls around to a monthly model. So watch for that, I guess. Uh, till then, this is Boba the Vulture. This has been uh, Let's Play uh, Extreme Warfare Revenge. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye for now.